Welcome Minneapolis Junior Senior High School fans to Legion Field at the Auto County Fairgrounds in Minneapolis. As our Lions today take on the Silver Grove Mustangs. First pitch, strike by pitcher Sean Forte. This is a rescheduled contest today. There's a swung on pitch and he's fouled it over the right, back over the right corner. Pitching for the Mustangs is number 11, Ty Hina. Strike him out. So one out hit down here in the top of the first inning. It's April 26, 2013, 2 p.m. Early start. Second batter up, that's a ball for thrown by Forte. Second batter is Riggs Walter. Second ball, two and oh the count. Strike one, got the outside corner there. Double header today versus the Mustangs. Two and one pitch here for Forte. Tried the inside corner. Ball. Three and one the count to Riggs Walter, number 21 of the Sylvan Mustangs. Here's the three and one pitch by Forte. Foul off to the right. Full count now, three and two. Game just underway here at Legion Field in Dotter County Fairgrounds in Minneapolis. Here's the 3-2 pitch, swung on and missed. Two strikeouts here for Forte to start the game. There's the pitch, swung on and missed. Batter is uh, number one, Cole Zelnica. Outside, ball one. One and one here. Catching for the Lions is number four, Thompson. This is a one one pitch. Swung on and missed. Be a one two count here for Forte versus Zelnica. The one two pitch, swung on a missed. Three up, three down. Sean Forte with three strikeouts to get the first inning rolling. Again, Dale Leach, Regal Communications, Channel 20, and SalinaPost.com. We'll take a break here, a word from our sponsors as we get ready for the bottom of the first. All Seasons Power Equipment is your center for all types of lawn care products. Quality brand name mowers to pick from. Grasshopper, Hustler, Lawn Boy, Toro, plus Husqvarna and steel products. Complete service and free home demos. All Seasons Power Equipment, Minneapolis and Salina. At Lambert Insurance, Sue Clanton can make shopping for insurance easy. With insurance plans changing all the time and costs increasing constantly, getting coverage you need at affordable rates can be a challenge. Let Sue Clanton at Lambert Insurance in Minneapolis help. Delphus Co-op will always be there to give you the most up-to-date information on the right type of seed to use, weather conditions, market information, all at your fingertips. All you have to do is go to DelphusCoop.com. They'll keep you informed on how to make your farm as efficient and successful as possible. The mission at Kansas Wesleyan University is to promote and integrate academic excellence, spiritual development, personal well-being, and social responsibility. With a multitude of major programs, we'll help you reach your potential and achieve your goals. Where do you go in Minneapolis for fresh fruit, quality cuts of meat, fresh vegetables, all the products you need for your kitchen? Jeans IGA. Jeans is proud to sponsor Minneapolis Lions High School Sports. Encourage your children to excel both in the classroom and in sports. They'll thank you for it. 
City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wool will help you with your medication, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. Robertson Monuments has been developing memorials in central Kansas now for over a hundred years. Robertson Monuments strength as a company is a direct result of the commitment that they have to you, their customer. Robertson Monument, Minneapolis, wants to work beside you to create a lasting tribute to the loved one you have lost. Go to robertsonmonuments.com for more information. Welcome back. Bottom of the first inning. John, David John's up to bat for the Lions. Ball on the first pitch. Number nine is the pitcher. That'd be uh, Broga Naylor. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Swung on and hit by Johns to the third baseman. And they get him on the throw out to first. So. One up, one down so far for Naylor of the Mustangs of Silver Grove. Next up is Winchester. Here's the pitch from Naylor. Inside, ball one. The pitch swung on and hit. It's to fair down the right field line. Snagged by the first baseman, and Winchester's out. First baseman's number 28, Fritz Berger. Sean Winchester up, excuse me, Sean Forte up to bat here, the pitcher, in the third spot in the order. The pitch. Swung on and fouled back to the right here into the fence. Naylor's 0 1 pitch coming up. He takes the sign and the pitch. Strike two. The 0-2 pitch on its way. Swung on a hit foul down the left field line. O2 pitch coming up for Naylor. Swung on and fouled. In the fence, so the count remains 0-2. On deck for the Lions is Colby Berry, number eight. Not Colby, excuse me. Uh, forgotten his first name, I'm sorry. It'll come to me. The 0-2 pitch, inside and high. Ball one. One to two now. Cadenberry is on deck for the Lions. One two pitch inside again. Evens count at two and two. After about five five or six pitches. Breezy day here, proud of the southeast. Cloudy, cool, no rain though. Swung on a miss, struck him out. So three up and three down. For the Lions, and after one inning of play, it is zero to zero. We'll be back with second in inning action after a word from our sponsors, Dale Leach, Regal Communications, Channel 20, and SaliniaPost.com. 
Parents, would you like to save money while sending your child to college? We offer a career with benefits no other employer can match. We can even provide your child with a part-time job while in college and help you pay for college. Contact the U.S. Army and U.S. Army Reserves Career Center at the Central Mall in Salina at 785-827-3666. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcasts of the Lions games on SalinaPost.com. Join them as they encourage student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Upgrade your truck's look with a topper, locking tailgate, or tonneau cover. Maybe a grill guard or bumper replacement. K4 Trailer RV and Truck Accessories works with over 300 vendors so we can supply you with the accessories you want for your truck. Check them out at 1640 West State Street in Salina or online at k4trailersales.com. The Scott Osherman Agency, your American family insurance agent, is dedicated to giving you the best insurance possible for your car, home, life, health, retirement, or farm and ranch insurance. Scott is there to help. The Scott Osherman Agency, your American family insurance agent. He's there when you need him. Okay, welcome back to second inning action. Up to bat is number 22, Jordan Beese for the Mustangs. Swung on and fouled, strike one. The 0 1 pitch inside, ball one. Swung on a foul, one and two the count. Swung on a hit, retrieved by Forte, and they throw him out at first. <laughs> it was close. First baseman had to, it was a low ball. First baseman had to pull off the bag and had to tap his foot back while his knee was on the ground to get that player out. The pitcher, Broga Naylor up to bat. Pitch. Swung on and fouled. No one pitch. High ball one. One and one to scout. Terry Meckel, athletic director at Minneapolis High School, junior or senior high school. Uh, one of the umpires of today's games. Inside corner. One and two. Terry was first baseball coach here in Minneapolis. They had trouble getting uh, referees for this early start, early rescheduled game. Outside, ball two. Swung on and missed. Struck him out. Next batter up is Nick Lawson. Here in the top of the second, but Forte's pitch outside, ball one. Strike. One and one the count. One one pitch. Strike two against Lawson. The one two pitch. Swung on a miss. Got him swinging. Strike three and Sean Forte. Six strikeouts. Or no, five strikeouts and they had a. Uh, throw out at first. So bottom of the second coming up and the Lions will be taking the field here. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. 
In as little as nine months, you could be on your way to a better job future with Salina Area Technical College. Learn skills in computer-aided drafting, construction technology, or electronic engineering. Schedule a campus visit today by logging on to salinatech.edu. Tonight's game is brought to you by Bennington State Bank, your trusted hometown bank with locations in Salina, Minneapolis, Bennington, Wamego, and Sylvan Grove, a proud sponsor of this game, member FDIC. CNR Plating and his crew would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. CNR Plating is a Minneapolis Lions sport backer and wants to wish the Lions a great season. Okay, welcome back as we get ready for the bottom of the second in inning. Caden Berry, the fourth batter in the lineup, ready to come to base. Jake Fleming is on deck for the Lions. First pitch at the bottom of the second, ready to go. Naylor winds up, delivers, swung on, hit by Barry, back into the fence for a foul. So 0 1 to count. The 0 1 pitch on its way. Inside, ball one. 1 and 1 the count now. One one pitch, foul up deep over the right side. Hit the top of the the uh, ag building over there. One and two the count. Naylor's one two pitch on its way. Swung on and missed by Barry, so it's strike out. Jake Fleming up. On deck to catcher, number four, Thompson. Inside pitch, ball one. Pitch. Swung on, missed. So 1-1 one, one the count here. The 1-1 one, one pitch by Naylor. Foul. Makes the count 1-2. takes the sign from the catcher and here's the one two pitch inside makes a two and two the two two pitch by Naylor outside full count now three and two Two pitch by Naylor on its way. Swung on and missed by Fleming. So strike out. Third strike out for Naylor. Thompson up to bat for the Lions. Naylor.
Taylor's pitch inside, ball one. John Kelly on deck for the Lions. Naylor's pitch, swung on and hit. Hits the pitcher's glove. That's going to be a base hit off the fielding error for Thompson. So one man on for the Lions. John Kelly, number 34 at the bat. And in for pinch runner is, uh, uh, I think, Luke Eckert. Let me check the numbers here. Yes. Luke Eckert on pitch run for Thompson. Kelly up to bat. Frazier on deck. Low and outside. Ball one. pitch coming up. Ecker takes his lead off. Naylor stares him down. There's the pitch. There goes the steal attempt by Eckert and he's in safe. It's overthrow but he's going to stay at first. I believe the count is on two. Ecker takes his lead from second. The 0-2 pitch on its way. And caught the inside corner. Two and one, the count. Naylor looks Eckert over and turns back his attention to the batter. 2-1 pitch on its way. Inside, high, they drop it. Eckert was, had started to retreat to base before he saw that the ball was in play. So three and one, the count. The pitch, swung on and missed. Full count now, three and two. With the runner in scoring position for Minneapolis at second. Pinch runner, Luke Eckert. The pitch, high and outside, walks him. So two men on now for the Lions at first and second. Up to bat, Tomps, excuse me, Frazier, number 15. On deck, number 33, Austin. And I apologize, I don't know all these kids' first names. Each runner with a sizable lead now. There's the pitch. Strike one. Be nice to get a hit. Squeak a run over the bag here. Ball one pitch. It's on its way. Inside, ball one. One and one, the count. For Thompson. Naylor takes the sign from their catcher. Pitch is on its way. High. Ball two. Two and one here with two outs in the bottom of the second. Two men on. The pitch by Naylor. Got the outside corner, strike two. Counts even at two and two with two outs. Two men on. Is that enough twos for you? The pitch swung foul. 
back to the right. Two two pitch. Outside. Ball three. Counts full at three and two. Three two pitch. Hits it. It's going to fall in for a hit. In front of the right fielder. It's going to score Eckert. And Kelly moves to first. So the second hit of the game for the Lions, delivered by Frazier. Eckert with the run. The Lions are up one to zero. Men at the corners for the Lions. Naylor's pitch outside and high. Frazier decides I'll back off that steal attempt. Two outs here in the bottom of the second. Lines up one to zero. The pitch swung on and hit and it's a blooper falls in front of the second baseman and he's an error it's going to score Kelly. And on an error, Austin gets a hit. Frazier moves to second. So Kelly, John Kelly with a run. Two to zero, Minneapolis. The pitch high, ball one. Men at first and second. I can't remember what I said a little while ago. I, I might have given the wrong impression. The pitch inside, ball two. Oh, yeah, ball two. So it's two outs here. All the damage has come on the, in the bottom of the second with two outs. The pitch inside. Ball three for Naylor. Three oh pitch outside. Gonna walk him. Back at the top of the order, David Johns up. The base is loaded, two out, lines up two to zero. Naylor's pitch, high, ball one. The pitch, outside and low, ball two. Naylor was showing some pretty good stuff throughout the first inning and the first two batters of the second, but it's kind of gone downhill for him since then in this inning. The pitch inside and high, ball three. Danger, the lines are in danger of scoring a run off a walk here. David John's up. Danger for the Mustangs. High and inside. That's going to score a run. 4-15, Frazier. And the coach has gone out to talk to his pitcher. Saying, let's get together. Don Forte. 
off the bat. I wonder what's happened to Winchester. I had him down second batter in the order. Bases loaded, two outs. The pitch to Forte, inside, ball one. One and zero the count. Score three to zero, Minneapolis. The ball was a little more under control, but just a little bit outside, ball two. Two zero pitch on its way. High ball three. The three zero pitch here. Walk deep. Fourth walk of the game on Naylor and that's going to score Austin. Four to zero Minneapolis. All on two outs here in the second inning. Caden Berry up to bat. High strike one. That was a little that was right down the middle but a little high. Ball one excuse me. Four walks here all in the second inning on Naylor. Caught the inside corner, strike one. One and one the count. And Minneapolis lead four to zero. The one one pitch. Swung on and hit, fouled back over the right side. Another one hit the top of the egg building. The pitch. <laughs> Hitting. Caden's going to take his base on a walk, and that's going to score another run. David Johns will score. Makes the score five to zero here in the bottom of the second. All on two outs. Up the bat, Jake Fleming for Minneapolis. Last time up, he was a strikeout. The pitch. Outside, ball one. Pitch. Got the inside corner. One and one the count. The one one pitch. Swung on. Foul tip. Makes the count one and two. Two pitch on its way. Outside. Ball two. Two and two. Counts even. Bases loaded. Two outs. Two two pitch. Swung on a miss by Fleming. Going to end the inning. That the Lions do score five runs in the bottom of the second with two outs showing to take the 5 0 lead here in the bottom of the second. As we head to the third, 
Dale Leach for Eagle Communications, Channel 20, and SalinaPost.com. We'll take a break here. A word from our sponsors. Be back at third quarter action. Third inning action. Bennett Buick GMC has been family owned and operated since 1957. With more than five decades in the central Kansas area, Bennett Buick GMC has long established its reputation as a leader in the professional sales and service of new and pre-owned vehicles. For more information on a new or pre-owned vehicle, go to BennettBuickGMC.com. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high-speed internet, 910 KINA News Talk, and 99 KG Country. Proud to sponsor the Lion Sports coverage on SolanaPost.com. Also listen to Lion Sports on your local Eagle Cable Channel 20. All right, welcome back. Top of the third action. Forte pits down in the dirt outside, ball one. Sean's had five strikeouts so far and one out on at first. Second pitch is a little more inside, but still high, ball two. Pitch outside corner, strike one. Two and one the count here. The pitcher or the the batter, I didn't see the number. I apologize. We'll get it here. Inside low, the batter is number thirty two. Trey Hina. Two and two the count, I believe. I might be mistaken there. Pitch. That was that was whole count. That was three and two. First walk for Sean. Up to bat, the big fella, Fritz Berger. Plays first base. Forte delivers. Outside corner, strike one. One pitch delivered, swung on and hit. That's going to fall into the outfield for a hit. Center fielder corrals it, pops it back in. So first hit for the Mustangs delivered here. It's on the internet at uh, salinapost.com. Strike one. Up to bat is number 16. Micah Rivera. They try to get the throw out at second. Throws a little high and maybe a little late. Pitch about the outside corner, strike two. Ball. Two and two the count for Micah Rivera. Inside, full count now, three and two. Two men on for the Mustangs. High and outside. Obviously, I had the count wrong. It's now three and two. Out 
outside for all four. So Sean's starting to throw some walks here. Their second of the game, second of the inning, and the bases are loaded for the Mustangs. Up to the top of their order, Ty Hina, number 11. The pitch. Top the outside corner, strike one. Pitch, swung on a miss, strike two. The wind's starting to gust a little bit here. I'm having to hang on to my equipment. The 0-2 pitch by Forte. Low, ball one. One and two the count. 1-2 pitch, swung on a miss, strike two. Strike three, excuse me. So Sean's sixth strikeout of the game. Up is Riggs Walter. Number 21. Pitch. Swung on a missed. One and one the count. Bases loaded. One out. Swung on and hit, and the third baseman nabs it. Uh, throws him out at first. One run scores for the Mustangs. Number 32. Trey Haina. So the score is five to one. Two outs here, top of the third. Pitch swung on and missed. The batter number one, Cole Zelnica. Zelenka, excuse me. The pitch inside ball. One and two the count. The one two pitch. Caught him looking, strike three. So Forte records his seventh strikeout of the game. But the Mustangs score one in the top of the third, making the score Minneapolis five, Silver Grove one, as we head to the bottom of the third. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Dale Leach, Eagle Communications, Channel 20, and SalinaPost.com. All Seasons Power Equipment is your center for all types of lawn care products. Quality brand name mowers to pick from. Grasshopper, Hustler, Lawn Boy, Toro, plus Husqvarna and steel products. Complete service and free home demos. All Seasons Power Equipment, Minneapolis and Salina. At Lambert Insurance, Sue Clanton can make shopping for insurance easy. With insurance plans changing all the time and costs increasing constantly, getting coverage you need at affordable rates can be a challenge. Let Sue Clanton at Lambert Insurance in Minneapolis help. Delphus Co-op will always be there to give you the most up-to-date information on the right type of seed to use, weather conditions, market information, all at your fingertips. All you have to do is go to DelphusCoop.com. They'll keep you informed on how to make your farm as efficient and successful as possible. Welcome back to bottom of the third action for the Lions. Leading 5-1 to one here over the Sylvan Grove Mustangs. Up the bat for Minneapolis is Thompson, the catcher. Second time through the order. Pitch high and outside. Ball one. Brogan 
Naylor still pitching here for the Mustangs. A second pitch. High, ball two. The two -oh pitch on its way. Out the outside corner, strike one. Two and one now, the count. Two and one pitch. Swung on and hit foul deep down the right side. So the count is even now, two and two. Two two pitch. Swung on a foul. Back deep to the right. Count remains at two and two. Swung on and hit. That's going to fall fair in front of the right fielder. So. Thompson gets his second hit of the game. He got things rolling in the bottom of the second with the first hit. And Luke Eckert comes on the pinch run again. Luke scored the first run of the game. John Kelly up the bat for the Lions. Try to get Eckert out at first. Is safe. It takes a good lead. Naylor pitches. Swung on and hit. That's going to hit the gap into left field. So a hit for. John Kelly, Luke Eckert moves to first. So two men on. With no outs here, unless I've lost track. Bottom of the third. Up to bat is 15, Frazier. Ball got away from the catcher. The two runners advance. The you know, one pitch. High. Ball two. Two-o pitch here. Inside ball three. The three-o pitch on its way. Inside ball. Oh, it called a strike. <laughs> uh, Frazier was ready to take his base. Three and one the count. Caught the inside corner is the call. The 3-1 pitch on its way. Caught the outside corner. Full count now, 3-2. and two. So Naylor is working his way back into this against this batter. Started out at 3-0 and oh, now 3-2. and two. The pitch outside. Walked him. Sixth walk of the game against Naylor. He's had 
five hits delivered. Left to bat, Austin for the Lions. The pitch. So we're going to hit the shortstop. Going to get a force out at second. One run scored. That's Eckert. And a hit for Austin. So runners at the corners. Left the bat, David Johns. Pitcher tries to convince Mr. Austin that he's going to try to throw him out, but holds up. Empire calls timeout. And here we go again. It's a steal attempt. And safe at second. It gets away from him. That's going to score John Kelly. Score John Kelly. Second run scored of the game by Kelly. Eckert has two. So we have a runner at second in Austin. John's up the bat. Foul. Hit the top of the umpire's headgear there, I think, on the way on its way back to the fence. Seven to one the score in favor of the Lions. The delivery. Got the outside corner, struck him out. So two outs here. Bat number 16, Winchester. The pitch. Outside and low, ball one. We missed him somehow in the second inning. I don't know how. The 0 1 pitch. Excuse me, 1 0 pitch. Foul down the left field line. Rolled across the line just in front of third base. Pitch swung on a missed by Winchester. One and two, the count. Two outs here in the bottom of the third. One man on. It's high, but a strike. Struck him out. That will end the third inning with the Lions scoring two. The Mustangs won, making the score seven to one in favor of your Lions. Fourth inning action coming up. We will take a break here. A word from our sponsors and be right back. Daily Tree Eagle Communications, Channel 20 and SalinaPost.com. The mission at Kansas Wesleyan University is to promote and integrate academic excellence, spiritual development, personal well-being, and social responsibility. With a multitude of major programs, we'll help you reach your potential and achieve your goals. 
Where do you go in Minneapolis for fresh fruit, quality cuts of meat, fresh vegetables, all the products you need for your kitchen? Jeans IGA. Jeans is proud to sponsor Minneapolis Lions High School Sports. Encourage your children to excel both in the classroom and in sports. They'll thank you for it. City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wool will help you with your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. Welcome back to the top of the fourth action. Up for the Mustangs, uh, Sylvan Grove. Is Jordan Beast number twenty-two, the second baseman? Saw Forte pitching for the Lions. Still, there's a delivery inside corner, strike one. Sun's starting to shine. Might warm up things up a little bit. The delivery outside, ball one, one and one, evens out. I could take some more sun and a little less breeze. One, one pitch. Inside corner, strike two. Naylor struck out his last time at bat. There's the one, two pitch. Low. Outside, two and two, the count now. The two-two pitch, swung on and missed. So the second strikeout of the game for Bees, and the third strikeout recorded by Jimmy. Eighth strikeout recorded by Forte. Pitcher Naylor is up to bat. The delivery is hit, and it gets past the second base, the shortstop and second baseman. So Naylor is on at first. That's the way they started out the first of the inning last time with uh, a hit fairly quick out. Brogan Naylor with a hit, only their second hit of the game. One out here. The pitch and steal attempt. Safe is the call. Looks like the throw might have got there in time, but uh, umpire says no way. Up to bat, number 14, Nick Lawson. Pitch outside corner, strike one. Forte is watching the runner, delivers inside corner, strike two. One and two, the count. Oh, that sun feels good. Delivery outside and evens the count of two and two. We better be careful. We're having sun break out all over the place here. The two two delivery swung on a miss strike three. Ninth strikeout of the game recorded by Forte. Second strikeout on Lawson. Up to bat, Trey Hina for the Mustangs. Ball one inside. Forte's 1 0 pitch. Up, he goes for the throw out at second. Naylor safe. 
back in second, the pitcher. The pitch, swung on a hit down fair down the left field line. And the runner safe at first. And Naylor advances from second to third. So Trey Haina delivers the third hit of the game for the Mustangs. Two men on at the corners. Fritz Berger up the bat for the Mustangs. Two outs, I believe, here at the top of the fourth. The pitch, swung on and hit by Berger into the gap. That's going to score Naylor for the Mustangs, and the third first base runner runs on to third and is safe. So runners at the corners again. Second hit of the game delivered by Berger. And Naylor gets the second run of the game for the Mustangs. Make the score seven to two. Up the bat for the Mustangs, number 16, Micah Rivera. Mike Goal, just heard someone say. Two outs here, I believe, in the top of the fourth. Forte delivers. Strike one outside corner. Owen won the count. Forte's 0-1 delivery. High and outside. Evens the count of 1-1. One one. Again, we've got runners at the corners for the Mustangs. I believe two outs. The pitch. Still going to miss. Strike two. One and two, the count. The one two pitch by Forte. Caught him looking. Strike three, and that's going to end the inning. Stranding two runners for the Mustangs, but they do score on the run by Naylor. Making the score Minneapolis seven. Sylvan Grove two here and after three and a half innings. Ten strikeouts recorded by Sean Forte so far in the game against two walks. We'll be right back with bottom of the fourth action. Dale Leach, Regal Communications, Channel 20, and SalinaPost.com. Hear a word from our sponsors here. Robertson Monuments has been developing memorials in Central Kansas now for over a hundred years. Robertson Monuments' strength as a company is a direct result of the commitment that they have to you, their customer. Robertson Monument, Minneapolis, wants to work beside you to create a lasting tribute to the loved one you have lost. Go to robertsonmonuments.com for more information. Parents, would you like to save money while sending your child to college? We offer a career with benefits no other employer can match. We can even provide your child with a part-time job while in college and help you pay for college. Contact the U.S. Army and U.S. Army Reserves Career Center at the Central Mall in Salina at 785-827-3666. SalinaPost.com. Join them as they encourage student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. All right, welcome back to Legion Field at the Auto County Fairgrounds in Minneapolis. We start bottom of the fourth inning action. Up to bat for the Lions will be Sean Forte, the pitcher. 
Caden Berry on deck, I believe. Forte has gotten on base once with a walk and has struck out. Coach Conrad takes his position to third base and we're ready to play ball. Brogan Naylor still pitching for the Mustangs. He delivers. Swung on a miss by Forte. Strike one. No one pitch on the inside. One and one to count. The one one pitch by Naylor. It's going to fall fair and safe into the center field. So Forte gets his first hit of the game. With no outs, Caden Berry up to bat for the Lions. Rogan Naylor pitching for the Sylvan Grove Mustangs. Forte tried to take a sizable lead, and Naylor tried to throw him out, but uh, Forte's safe. Staring him down. He delivers the pitch. Swung on and missed. Foul tipped. Forte was on his way to second, but has to retreat to first due to the foul. Strike one. 0 and 1 to count. Barry takes the sign from Coach Conradi. Steps back in the batter's box. Naylor takes the sign from his catcher. Looking Forte and down. There's the delivery. It's high and outside. Forte goes for the steal, and he's safe. Ball gets away from the shortstop. Covered by the second baseman. So lead runner at second in scoring position. One and one the count, I believe. The pitch, swung on and missed. Forte's going for third and is safe there. They, Conrad tells him to stay there. Slight overthrow. It dribbled away into the outfield. One and two the count. No outs. The one-two pitch by Naylor. Might have, like it might have caught the outside corner, but it's called ball two and two. Naylor takes the sign. Two and two pitch on its way. Caught him looking. Strike out for Barry. His second of the game. He's gotten on base once with a walk. Up to bat, Jake Fleming. He's struck out twice. The pitch, ball. Forte retreats to third. Pitch on its way. Swung on and fouled by Fleming. One and one to count. The one one pitch by Naylor coming up. It's on its way. Inside ball. Forte retreats to third. Two and one the count here.
pitch. Hit him. So Fleming's going to take the base for a first uh, time this game on a walk. Puts runners at the corners. Up the bat for the Lions, the number four, the catcher, Thompson. We're in the bottom of the fourth. The score is 7-2 to two in favor of the Lions over the Mustangs, Sylvan Grove. Rogan Naylor pitching for the Mustangs. Thompson has had two hits so far. He's got the first hit of the game for the Lions. Go for the throw out at first, but Fleming is safe. pitch. Strike call and Fleming's going to steal second. 0-1 oh to count. For Thompson. The 0-1 oh pitch coming. Tagged. Hit the first baseman. Thompson out, but no, uh, Forte is going to score on the sacrifice. His first run of the game makes the score 8-2. to two. Fleming moves on to third. Up the bat is John Kelly, number 34, first baseman. pitch outside ball one the sun keeps flaking in and out of the clouds at the pitch inside ball two Two zero count here. Fleming at third base. The pitch swung on, hit by Kelly, fouled back up over the close to the river bank behind us. The two one pitch coming up. The delivery, high ball three. Three and one the count here. Kelly has had uh, a hit, a walk, and two runs so far. S swung on it and missed, so the count's full, three and two. Three two pitch coming up by Naylor. The delivery. High. Ball four. So second walk of the game for Kelly. Put runners at the corners. Frazier's up the bat for the Lions. He's had one hit, one walk, and scored one run. Naylor looks Kelly over at first. Delivers the pitch. Outside, ball one. So a 1-0 count here. Delivery. Swung on and hit. That's going to 
hit in the infield and tag Kelly out at second. That's going to end the inning. So out on base to Kelly to get the third out of the game or the inning for the Lions. We go to the top of the, go to the top of the fifth with the Lions leading the Mustangs. Eight to one. We each score one run in the fourth. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsors, Dale Leach for Eagle Communications, Channel 20, and SalinaPost.com. Upgrade your truck's look with a topper, locking tailgate, or tonneau cover. Maybe a grill guard or bumper replacement. K4 Trailer RV and Truck Accessories works with over 300 vendors so we can supply you with the accessories you want for your truck. Check them out at 1640 West State Street in Salina or online at k4trailersales.com. The Scott Osherman Agency, your American family insurance agent, is dedicated to giving you the best insurance possible for your car, home, life, health, retirement, or farm and ranch insurance. Scott is there to help. The Scott Osherman Agency, your American family insurance agent, he's there when you need him. Okay, welcome back. Top of the fifth, number 11 up at the bat for Mustangs, and he hits it. It's high pop fly out to center field, and the, they get underneath it and make the catch. Apologize, I don't know who that is. Ty Hina was the batter. The pitch for 21, Riggs Waller. Strike one. 0-1 oh, one pitch. Swung on hit. Forte snags it, and they're out at second. Caden Berry is the first baseman. Two outs. Up to bat should be Cole Zel Zelenka. The pitch. Inside ball one. Ball two. Two and oh the count. The two oh pitch swung on a missed by Zelenka. Zelna Zelenka, yes. Two and one the count here. The pitch. Strike two. Evens it up at two and two. Outside corner is caught there. Pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. And that's going to end the top half of the inning. It's the 11th strikeout of the game recorded by Corte. We go to the bottom of the fifth with the Lions leading 8-2 to two over the visiting Sylvan Grove Mustangs. Be right back after a word from our sponsors, Dale Leach for Eagle Communications Channel 20 at SalinaPost.com. In as little as nine months, you can be on your way to a better job future with Salina Area Technical College. Learn skills in computer-aided drafting, construction technology, or electronic engineering. Schedule a campus visit today by logging on to salinatech.edu. Tonight's game is brought to you by Bennington State Bank, your trusted hometown bank with locations in Salina, Minneapolis, Bennington, Wamigo, and Sylvan Grove, a proud sponsor of this game, member FDIC. CNR Plating and his crew would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. CNR Plating is a Minneapolis Lions sport backer and wants to wish the Lions a great season. Welcome back to action here at Legion Field in Minneapolis, Dotto County Fairgrounds. We're getting ready for Bottom of the fifth action with the Lions leading eight to two. Up for the Lions is Austin. Last batter of the order. He 
He's had two hits on a walk, scored one run. High, ball one. On deck is David Johns. The 1 0 pitch. Swung on a miss by Austin. One and one the count. The pitch. Ball two. Two and one the count. The two one pitch coming up for Naylor. High and outside. Ball three. Delivery, high and inside again, walks him. So Austin gets his second walk of the game with two hits. And we have a runner on with no outs, and uh, the coach for Silver Grove comes in and is going to make a replacement. In pitching, we'll take a break and be right back after these warm ups are completed. Welcome back as we resume action here. New pitcher is uh, Riggs Waller, 21. Naylor, the other pitcher, has gone out to center field. Still up to bat is David Johns for the Lions. The pitch. Strike one. One and one the count here. Said David Johns still up to bat. It was they made the replacement of the pitcher as Johns was coming to bat. So my apologies there. Weller's third pitch of the game. Swung on and missed by Johns. One and two the count. Johns has gotten on base with one walk. He's had one run, one strikeout, and been thrown out of base. Swung on and missed. Strike. And uh, Frazier is going to, uh, Austin's going to go to second as the catcher dropped the ball. So David Johns' second strikeout. First out of the inning. Winchester up to bat. Second batter of the order for the Lions. Pitch. Ball. Low. 0 and 1 the count. Or 1 and 0 chance the count, excuse me. Riggs Waller pitching for Sylvan Grove Mustangs against Winchester. The delivery. And it's a hit, and it's fair out in the right field, and it's going to fall safe. And that's going to be a double for Winchester. So two men on now, it's second and third. Austin at third and Winchester at second, one out. Sean Forte, the pitcher, is up to bat. pitch. He pops it up. It's going to land back behind me here towards the river. 0-1 the count. The 0-1 pitch. Smacked. Gets by the second, the shortstop. That's going to score two runs, two RBIs here for 
Forte as he gets to first. So Winchester scores and Austin gets his second run of the game. Forte gets his second hit. Two RBIs. That was a stat I was going to keep track of, but I haven't gotten it done up till now. I apologize. Caden Berry up the bat. One out here. Sean Forte at first. The delivery. Strike one. Forte safe at first on the throwback. Waller's pitch upcoming. Here it is inside. One and one the count. On deck is Fleming. On base is Forte at first. He's going for the steal and we'll get it on the ball there on the strike excuse me one and two the count scores ten to two the wind came out, can't make up its mind whether it's going to be still or blow it's blowing again to delivery is on its way he smacks it it's going to fall fair in the center field and it's going to score Forte so Caden Berry with an RBI and a hit Forte with the run his second of the game makes it 11 to 2 in favor of Minneapolis Jake Fleming up the bat. The pitch hits him. That's the second time Fleming's been hit, I think, in this game. He's gotten on base twice with walks and uh, had two strikeouts. So up to bat is Thompson, who got things rolling for Minneapolis with a hit. He's had two hits in the game. He's been replaced each time as a, with a pinch runner of Luke Eckert. So one runner scoring position. Two men on for Thompson. The delivery he hits it. It's high out to Naylor at center field and records the out. Up to bat, John Kelly for the Lions. He's had one hit, two walks, two runs. The delivery. Swung on a missed by Kelly. The 0 1 pitch coming up. Delivery. Low and outside ball. 1 1 and 1 the count now. Two men on for the Lions. The pitch. Outside, ball two. Two and one. Caden Berry is at second. Jake Fleming's at first. The two-one pitch. 
high. Over the head, that's going to advance the runners. Barry at third, Fleming at second. Three and one the count. For Kelly. The pitch. Outside, ball. He walked it. Bases loaded. Third walk of the game for Kelly. He's had one hit. Two runs. Up is Frazier for the Lions. He's had one hit, one walk, and one run. Bases are loaded. One out, I believe. The pitch outside, ball one. Pitch, swung on a hit, back to the pitcher, gets away from him. Second baseman tracks it down. Woo, got him out, just it, just barely got him out of first to end the inning. So Frazier's out on the throw at first. The Lions score three more to make the score 11 to two. After five, we will go to the top of the sixth action here. After a word from our sponsors, Dale Leach for Eagle Communications, Channel 20, and SalinaPost.com. All Seasons Power Equipment is your center for all types of lawn care products. Quality brand name mowers to pick from. Grasshopper, Hustler, yeah, Lawn Boy, uh, Toro, plus a, Husqvarna uh, and Steel Products. Complete uh, service uh, and free uh, home demos. All Seasons Power Equipment, Minneapolis and Salina. At Lambert Insurance, Sue Clan can make shopping for insurance easy. With insurance plans changing all the time and costs increasing yeah. constantly, getting coverage you need no, at affordable rates can be a challenge. <laughs> Let Sue Clan and at Lambert Insurance in Minneapolis I, help. I can't compete with Sean Hannity and... Delphi's Co-op will always be there to give you guy. the most up-to-date information <laughs> on the right type of seed to use, weather conditions, market information, all at your fingertips. All you have to do is go to DelphusCoop.com. They'll keep you informed on how to make your farm as efficient and successful as possible. New batter up for the uh, Mustangs, 34. Colton Uhl, UHL, he was playing second. And I've lost track of the count, trying to get my stats up to date. Apologize. Pitch, swung on a missed, struck him out. Twelfth strikeout of the game for Sean Forte. The original pitcher, Brogan Naylor, up to bat. Now the center fielder swings on it, pops it back over the fence for strike one. The sun is retreating behind the clouds again. The wind's coming up, darn it. I can always complain, can I? The delivery, strong on it, swung on it, strike two. The 0-2 pitch. Outside, ball one, one and two the count. The one two pitch, swung on and missed, balls dropped, they throw him out at first. So the 13th strikeout of the game for Forte. Up to bat, number 20, 
Another substitution for the Mustangs. You have to look that name up too. The pitch outside, ball one. He's a lefty. Justin. Kate Canterbury. Caterbury. Caterbury. Strike is called. Strike two. Two and two the count. The two two pitch. Outside. Full count now, three and two. Got him looking. Strike three. Third out of the inning. Fourteenth strikeout for Sean Forte of the game. We go to the bottom of the sixth with the Lions leading 11 to 2. Be right back after this word from our sponsors, Dale Leach, Eagle Communications, Channel 20, and SalinaPost.com. At Kansas Wesleyan University is to promote and integrate academic excellence, spiritual development, personal well-being, and social responsibility. With a multitude of major programs, we'll help you reach your potential and achieve your goals. Where do you go in Minneapolis for fresh fruit, quality cuts of meat, fresh vegetables, all the products you need for your kitchen? Jeans IGA. Jeans is proud to sponsor Minneapolis Lions High School Sports. Encourage your children to excel both in the classroom and in sports. They'll thank you for it. City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wool will help you with your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. Okay, welcome back to the bottom of the sixth. The Lions leading Sylvan Grove 11 to 2. Up to bat will be number 33, Austin. He's had two hits, two walks, two runs. Scored. Coach Conradi takes his position out of third, and we're ready to play ball. Again, the score 11 to 2 as we head in the bottom of the sixth. The delivery by Weller swung on a miss by Frazier. By Austin, excuse me. So 0 and 1 the count. The delivery outside high ball one evens the count at one and one. The pitch swung on fouled. One and two the count. Pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. First strike out of the game on Austin. Up to bat is David Johns. He's had gone on base once with the walk, scored one run, and struck out twice, and has been out on base once. Ball one. The 
the delivery. High and outside, ball two. The delivery, ball three, outside. The delivery, ball four. So John gets on Bates the second time with the walk. Up to bat, Sean Forte. No, Winchester, excuse me. Takes the sign from Coach Conradi. Winchester has one hit, one run, and struck out once, and out on base once, and fouls the ball down the left side for strike one. Oh, and won the count. The 0 1 pitch down the center, but low. Evens count of 1 1. The 1 1 pitch outside, ball two. Johns goes to second. One and oh, strike one and two the count. Pitch low. That's going to advance Johns to third. Two and two even count. pitch outside and low full count now three and two the three two pitch on its way it was a ball so Winchester's on base with a walk Don Forte up to bat. He's had two hits, been on base with a walk, two RBIs, scored two runs, and struck out once. Runners at the corners. The delivery. He smacks it. Uh, it's going to go under the first baseman. He misses it. That's going to end the game with John scoring the run. He needed one run to get a 10 run lead in the sixth. Final score 12 to 2. Minneapolis over the Sylvan Grove Mustangs. We'll be back with the second game here in a little bit. Hang in there. We'll play some music and be back. Dale Lee, Chief of Communications, Channel 20, it's line of post .com. Okay, it's senior day here. Justin Klein, number 32. Luke Eckert, second senior.
two first year seniors. Gant Martin, third senior. No, the first year senior. Sean Forte, the last senior, I believe. Fourth year senior. Congratulations to the four seniors and their parents. Now we'll continue to take a break as we get ready for game two of this doubleheader against the Sylvan Grove Mustangs. <laughs> 